Ah, something smells good. My stomach crumbled in agreement. I was starving. Oh, the girl's awake. Excuse you, I have a name, you know? Should we really care? Sam, I will roast that tongue for dinner if it doesn't stop flapping in that idiotic mouth of yours. Shh, whatever. I apologize for his attitude. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> Good. I hope you'll enjoy the meal we prepared for you. Meal? For a second, my mind didn't understand what James meant. He was the doll getting into my head and distracting me. Oh, that's right! Dave and Matthew mentioned that they were making dinner as an apology. Oh, wait, you didn't have to. We insist. Besides, it's quite impossible to undo our cooking, even if you command us to. Alright, well, thank you. Matthew put down the last of the plates on the table and bowed a bit exaggerately to me, gesturing to the table with a sweeping motion. Ah, there we go. Dinner's all served. The table was filled with various foods from a collective selection of cuisines. One portion of the table was filled with elegantly plain Asian food, and another portion some yummy-looking dessert. And there were yet more and more plates that, than I could have possibly imagined. Wow, that's a lot of food, and it all looks so good. We hope you enjoy it, my sweet. What? Sweet? Me? That's enough, Eric. <laughs> You're no fun, James. I don't need to be fun, Eric. Miss, please follow me. I didn't know what came over me, whether it was his politeness or maybe his power, but I couldn't help but take his offer arm. James seemed very kind and intelligent, but aside from that, there was something that set him apart from his brother. Not to mention, he didn't really seem to hold much appreciation. App for a station for them? Miss, I have to ask. Why do you live alone? Oh, well, it's kind of a long story. I'm all ears if you wish to tell. I it's fine. Maybe another time. Very well. Here's your seat, then. Let me get your chair for you, lovely lady. Oh, uh, Eric was very charming, and his smile pulled at my heart. The way he kept flirting with me definitely designed him as the charmer of a demon, yet there was a little distance in his eyes. By the way, I apologize for my behavior earlier, stealing your second kiss like that. Huh? Oh yeah, when I didn't believe that they were in Cuba. <laughs> it's fine, cause, I mean, you didn't just get up and grab a kiss for no reason. I'm not as forward, unlike Sam. <laughs> Suddenly, Eric leaned in and whispered in my ear. I won't lie, though. I enjoyed kissing you and feeling you melt in my arms. I was torn between smacking him and trying to play it cool. You sure are quite the charmer. Yes, I am known for that. It's not just I do appreciate the constant compliments. You don't have to keep talking to me like that. Like what? He bowed his eyelids as if he had no idea what I was talking about and I couldn't help but laugh. Well, like you're trying to get into my pants half the time. I can assure you, I'm just a lover of beautiful women. Something tells me that there's more to it that, that, than that. For a moment, he looked away, losing a bit of his smile. Before I could question it though, he turned back to me with a new teasing smile. Did you want there to be more? I didn't want to hit him, but I didn't know how to react so I couldn't look at him. He merrily chuckled again in my ear. <laughs> Sorry. You just look so cute when you're blushing. I felt my face heat up simply from his words. I then felt Eric take my hand and kiss it gently. I hope you'll enjoy dinner, however, my dear. I drew my attention back to the dishes. I was both intrigued and slightly scared by the ammo of food they made. See my expression, Eric leaned forward and Probably smiled, gesturing to all the dishes with a dramatic sweep, sweep of his arm. I made almost all of the dishes myself. Humorously enough, Matthew looked at him with a shocked expression as if he was betrayed. His face changed instantly to that of a throne. And I'm the Queen of the Nile! What's that supposed to mean? Me, you, and James did the work together, dummy. 
It's you, James, and I, Matthew. <laughs> Little boys will always make mistakes. Matthew looked at James in disbelief, probably for siding with Eric, and he annoyedly swiveled back to Eric to confront him. I'm not a little boy. I'm barely a year younger than you. Well, you certainly don't act like it. <laughs> I really couldn't help but laugh. Matthew seemed very much like a kid. He was ever able. However, I couldn't help but feel like, in a way, he was much more mature than the others, especially Eric. Huh? Is something funny? Uh, no, no, it's nothing at all. Thank you for the meal. All of you. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome, miss. Such a well-mannered young lady. Beautiful inside and out. Eric, knock it off! In agreement with Matthew, Sam cocked up his head and glared at Eric. Seriously. You're getting really annoying with that suck-up act. It was obvious that Sam was the bad boy of a group. He had this big doll pack and it was obvious he was physically stronger than the rest of the guys. But was there more to him than that? I'm just trying to be a gentleman. The young girl has already gone through so much. She deserves a good treatment. There's a difference between being a gentleman and being an obnoxious flirt. <laughs> Schooled even by James. You're gonna need some cold water for that burn. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, I don't believe we caught your name even though you know each of us. Oh, I'm Angie. It's a pleasure to finally know your name. Yeah, that's a nice name. 